these two custom homes are so popular and close to stock one which we are talking about this is prepixel experience plus versus paranoid android both of these custom homes are similar to stock and they provide you almost same stock features but there are some similarities and there are some differences which we will talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end both of the custom homes right now based on android 13 which we are talking about both of these custom home brings you july security patch so which means the latest security patch right now and also both of these custom homes are official versions for my device so things are actually almost same if you are using any one of these custom home as an unofficial version things might be changed in your case this is the first change and this is the first difference in both of these custom homes is as expectedly the launcher by the way, one custom which is Paranoid Android is CAF based and second one is Pixel based or you can consider it as AOSP based. Where Pixel experience having the Pixel Launcher, you know that Pixel Launcher is not having any customizations. It's a stock Android customization launcher, I mean stock Android launcher. While as in Paranoid Android, you have the launcher, I think so AOSP A launcher, which includes the icon pack support, which includes the customizations related to icon size. You have the option for double tap to sleep and some other options which you can use on a device another major difference in both of these custom homes is the quick settings panel in some of the updates and few updates in pixel experience they just gave you that wide quick settings panel but in most of the updates and the updates from the past four or five months you can see the quick settings panel is in light mode is in dark mode actually Paranoid Android brings you the quick settings panel in light mode. It doesn't matter if you use the light mode or dark mode, but in Pixel Experience, you always have this dark quick settings panel. So if you're one of the users who actually want to use stock Android kind of things, then you should try considering Pixel Experience in your if you want to install it on your device. We also have the Google Photos backup options. For example, if you use the Pixel Experience custom rooms, you will get the unlimited photos and videos backup for your device. But in Paranoid Android, this feature is not available. If you need this feature like Google Photos unlimited backup, what you have to do is you have to root your device and install Pixelify module or any other modules if you want to. Settings UI, both of these custom rooms brings you same. Of course, these are kind of stock, so no customizations in both of these custom rooms. Not going to talk about much about the settings UI because it's kind of stock. One more major difference in both of these custom rooms, what I found here is in the vibration and haptic section. You can see in Pixel Experience, what you can do is you can customize these things. For example, you can simply turn off the vibration for touch feedback, etc. But in Paranoid Android, you can change the intensity for that. So that's kind of advantage. That's kind of advanced settings. Both of these custom home does not bring you app lock support. Although in Paranoid Android, in few updates, I found that app lock feature is present in the default launcher. But in the more security settings, both of these custom home does not have the app locker inbuilt. Both of these custom homes supports OTA updates. So if you are a custom room user and always update your custom room through OTA, then you can try considering both of these custom homes because both of these supports OTA updates. So it's totally up to you if you want to install any one of them. As you can see, both of these custom homes are updated right now. I'm using Paranoid Android from some time and quite satisfied. No issues, at least for me. In gesture section, I mean some pixel kind of gestures like the quick tab to start actions, which is available in pixel experience custom room is not present in paranoid android while as other gestures are basically same accepting this screen of gestures which is nothing but only double tap for these weak device device one more major difference not actually a major difference sorry there's a similarity here as both of these customers provide the July security pass, so the new back gesture is present here. So the feature which you were looking for, I think so most of the features are present. Nothing is compromised in both of these customers, so that's a great thing. If you want to install this custom room on any of your device, you can try, you can try, you can install this thing. One more difference which I found here is in the wallpaper section. Pixel experience does not provide you any kind of wallpaper options, by the way. But in Paranoid Android, if you use Paranoid Android on your device, you will see some this wallpapers pre-installed, which means that abstract app is available there. You have these official AOSPA wallpapers. So if you need a customer which is having some wallpapers pre-installed, you don't want to install wallpapers separately, then you can try considering Paranoid Android. So these are the major differences, major changes, which I just wanted to let you know. Uh, Pixel Experience has the more support, so it might be available for your device too, but Paranoid Android might not be. Make sure to check it and link is available in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.